Hey, what's up everybody? Yasin Nizami here and in this video we are going to talk about a lot of things. We got the national housing stats from Korea that tells you exactly how much the housing has slowed down across the country. Number two, we're going to talk about the landlord and tenant board. You know, this has shown a ridiculous performance across the Ontario where we're seeing the average, you know, delay for reviewing the application is around eight months. So both for tenants as well as landlord, this is a painful experience so far. Uh, number three, we're going to talk about the uh, condo flippers who have booked you know pre-construction condos in anticipation of flipping it on a Simon sale they are finding themselves underwater because the condo prices have gone down significantly and lastly we can touch upon the CPI print came out uh, for the month of September in the US 8.2 percent which is higher than the expected and this means the rate hike process will continue to go ahead even though we are seeing recession almost everywhere. So a lot to unpack in this video. Stay tuned till the end. Let's dive in. So national housing prices came out uh, last week from Korea and according to Korea, national home sales come down 3.9% month over month basis in September. And if you look at the yearly statistics, uh, this is considering the actual numbers 32.2% uh, below September 2021. So significant decline both from month over month basis as well as the yearly basis. Uh, one of the major reasons is we don't have enough inventory. So inventory, the newly listed properties, uh, it is also aged down 0.8% month over month. The MLS Home Price Index, this is where we actually see the index value of a typical you know, uh, residential home across country. Uh, it has also declined 1.4% month over month, but it is still up 3.3% on yearly basis. Um, and then if you look at the national average sale price, uh, at the actual number, non-seasonally adjusted, 6.6% uh, .6 year over year decline in September. So what it tells you basically is housing across the country has gone significant price correction. You know, we are seeing reduction in home prices. We are seeing reduction in sales volume. We are seeing the HPI index is also trending downward. So that is telling you the, the overall country is seeing a significant slowdown in the market. And that has been particularly led by two major markets, you know, greater Toronto area and greater Vancouver area. So these two markets are seeing a significant sharp decline. Uh, and that is also uh, pulling the entire country statistics down. Um, we are also seeing the condo flippers are finding themselves underwater because the people who have booked pre-construction projects, let's say in 2021, where the prices were quite high, and since that peak, the prices has come down um, significantly. And people who are not able to close those pre-construction projects will find themselves underwater because the raising interest rate is going to make mortgage qualification very, very difficult. So it's it will be interesting to see how these condo flippers are going to manage those closings going forward, uh, which is not a healthy sign for the economy. Uh, we also saw uh, that Tiff Macklem, you know, he pushed his narrative again last week where he reiterated his message that you know he's not backing off on the rate hike program uh, even though the recession fears are mounting everywhere uh, we are seeing the job losses we are seeing the uh, the unemployment uh, of course the unemployment is not that much but we are seeing companies are cutting you know jobs they laying they are laying off people they are freezing the new hires uh, in the anticipation of recession and slowing down the demand. Uh, but even that, Tiff Macklin reiterated his message that he's not going to back off uh, from the rate hikes, purely because what we saw in the US, because when the CPI print for the September came out, this is more than, higher than the expected inflation rate, both on the month over month basis, as well as on yearly basis, which means Federal Reserve will have more ammunition to basically continue pushing the rates up because 
if they don't if they don't do that the inflation becomes very persistent in the economy and then this will be very hard for them to pull it down remember central banks have only one mandate which is price stability which is nowhere to be seen to be honest in order to retain their credibility they will have to pull the inflation down uh, at any cost maybe it is uh, at the cost of recession as well one of the charts that i'm going to share with you is very interesting to see uh, what you see here is the projection of inflation over time and if we assume that the core CPI and this is by the way for the US so if the core CPI is going to decline by 0.5 percent on month over month basis let's say if that is the track that we're going to follow it is still going to take you know 2023 we will not be able to see below 5 percent inflation rate and Keep in mind, inflation doesn't go in straight line up. It goes up and down and up and down. So it's very difficult. It looks pretty difficult to bring the inflation down to the 2% um, given the circumstances and economic challenges that we have in front of us. Um, the other thing I want to touch upon is the landlord and tenant board. Like, my God, you know, there was an article in the news recently where the average lead time in order to get your application reviewed eight months eight months uh, and this is as a, a of course the worst news for landlords as well as tenants as well because there's always disputes between landlords and tenants and the only way to resolve those disputes is to go to the landlord and tenant board to ask for help and that the the board is taking eight months on average to you know review your application god knows how it's going to help out both tenants and the landlord so it's a, it's a tough spot for uh, both of them especially from landlord perspective if they want to evict an, a tenant who is not paying rent you know th that person needs to assume all the ongoing cost uh, for for the next eight to ten months so, so not a good news for the economy i think everybody's struggling uh, we are seeing protests uh, happening by the landlords and investors against the interest rate hikes which of course I'm not going to support that but at the end at the same time this is hurting pretty much everybody uh, and every person doesn't really understand how the monetary policy works but the authorities like Tiff Macklem who is running the monetary policy for the country they should not give out the forward guidance just like they have been doing it for the last two years which is basically in which was basically encouraging all the Canadians to take take on the borrowing because the borrowing cost was very low and leverage themselves which they did and now they are reversing the course at an exponential um, aggressive rate hike of course everybody's hurting and it's going to affect the entire economy as well so that is for me guys if you have any questions put your comments down below and i will see you in my next week video take care